Do I not trust you, Lord? I'm broken on the floor. I cannot hide. I know that in my mind. I can't internalize. My mind knows you will rise. My heart can't find you. I'm looking for you. Please be there. Even when I mess up, I confess but feel so wrong. The guilt's so strong. I try to fight the sin. Cause I think I can win. And when I lose, I blame myself. And in this shame, I'm screaming. Help! 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 There is a God that loves us. His love never ends. Couldn't stop him if we tried. Yet we act like it depends on our bad versus our good. So we start to pretend. Doesn't matter if it's for strangers, for family, or for friends. We all have our masks we put on to deceive. Because in this world, we're not allowed to be weak. But God says not to be of this world, to transcend this earth by dropping down to our knees. When we look at the story of the prodigal son, of the two brothers, I was the elder one. I worked every second to earn God's grace and deemed souls undeserving of God's loving embrace. I'd cry out, God, I work so hard, yet sin rules my life more than the guy at the bar. I want to yearn for you, Lord, but I keep hitting a wall. I hit a glass ceiling and again start to fall. I hit that glass ceiling because I made myself tall. I made myself God and didn't love God at all. I started by making sin more important than love. I tried to stop sinning without help from above. My strength got tested. I repeatedly lost, disappointed and spent, still ignoring the cross. Then a friend brought the truth of God's grace to my heart, releasing my hands, letting God play his part. Living under God's lordship brought peace to my life, took weight from my heart and ignited a light. I now boast in the fact that I failed the test. I'm weak, but God's strong, and he's where I rest.